نحن التطوع والتطوع دربنا للخير تاخذنا له الاشواق Hello, my dear students. Hello. Hello, Shaina Ismail. How are you doing all? Hope you are all fine. Hello, Osama Shaina. I'm fine, alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm fine, alhamdulillah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, as you know, uh, today, inshallah, this is the, the lecture uh, number 10. And today, uh, uh, we are going to study uh, the English grammar. طبعاً أهم الحاجات في last lecture. كنا أخذنا حاجات لل grammar كتير والفوكاب الحاجات الخاصة بالإيلتس يعني especially in the islets. Today, inshallah, we will continue the grammar part. If we have enough time, we will take part of the islets test. Okay? It's too nice, Ismail. Okay. I want you to know that the plan that we will continue the day, inshallah, we will finish the grammar part. And then, inshallah, if we have enough time, هنعمل ايه؟ هناخد ال reading reading part او ال component من ال islets it's okay if you don't have enough time يبقى next time ان شاء الله but mainly in this is the last time I have to explain anything it's okay لا ما قصدش ان انا يعني مش مش هشرح حاجة تانية خالص بس يعني لل plan بتاعة ال course this is the last lecture في ال curriculum نفسه okay طبعا حتى when we ان شاء الله finish the course هتفضلوا معايا هنتواصل ان شاء الله inbox على الجروب whatever وانا يعني على طول موجودة لأي حاجة for any help يعني okay طيب I want to be sure بس انه انتوا can you hear clear voice سامعيني كويس Okay. طيب مين مين هنا من ال technical support مين هنا من الدعم الفني بعد إذنكم. طيب. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Our lecture. You will start by studying an uh, active voice and passive voice. Well, I know, I know in um, yani many people and don't confusion from uh, Abdullah and ill active, ill passive type. When can I use? Uh, active voice or uh, passive voice. Inshallah, uh, the questions are there. I'll answer them by time. Okay. Uh, if you have problem with voice, for any thing, please close any programs. Allow for any program. Into Shagalino, Skype, Yahoo, whatever. Close it. We refresh the page again. It's okay. If you have any problem. Okay. Can you see? Okay. Okay. When uh, do we use active and passive voice of the verb? Voice of verb is an aspect that tells whether the subject is the doer or the receiver of the action. Okay? Doer or uh, receiver of the action. It can be active or passive. Let's see. 
active voice when the subject is the doer of the action when the subject is the doer of the action the action is the verb the voice of uh, verb is active for example he passed the test he passed the test this is active voice it's okay a subject how a doer the action عمل ايه post the test it's okay يعني very easy very simple ما فيش اي مشكلة it's okay طيب in this sentence the subject he did the action which was passing uh, passing the test it's okay خلاص يبقى ال the subject هو the doer of the action طيب let us see uh, what about passive voice the verb is in passive voice when the subject receives the action يبقى subject مش الدور اللي الاكشن لا هو receives the action you understand what I mean? anyone here? it's okay? to make a passive voice بنعمل ايه? subject in verb to be mean verb طبعا بيكون في الباست بارتسيبل اكشلي انا مش بحب ان انا نقعد نحفظ في ستراكشرز كده لان دي ستيبد واي اوكي اكتر حاجه ممكن تخليني افهم او اي كان اندرستاند حتى الرول دي الاكزامبلز اي لاف ذيم يبقى ذا تيست ووز باست باي هم دايما بنلاقي باي كعلامه كده بتبين لي ان ده باسيف فويس اتس اوكي The test was passed by him. He behind the subject. Melu, doer or receiver. Here, the subject is the doer or receiver. Receiver. It's okay. Excellent. Wardani and Said. Okay. Thank you. It's clear. Ah, yes, I, yes, this, uh, that's what I mean, yeah, yeah, okay. In this sentence, the subject test didn't do uh, the action. It was him who did. The subject test receives the action done by him. Okay, Tayyip. الأهم من ده, or uh, I have to focus on when can I use passive voice? It's okay. Number one, give importance to the object. يعني لو أنا عايزة أدي الobject نفسه importance, I have to use the passive voice. It's okay. طيب. Rather than saying Aldrin won the presidency, we say the presidency was won by Aldrin. Why? لأن the presidency is giving more importance. It's okay. يبقى أنا بديها ال importance أكتر عشان كده خليتها هي subject. هو ده the passive voice. مين اللي كده ده the main use بتاع the passive voice. It's okay. أنا في ناس كتير قوي بتبقى confused ويسألوا عن the active وال passive وفي ناس مش بتحب تسمع سيرته من كتر ما هي بتقرأه لا الموضوع أبسط من كده بكتير. You have to know when to use um, the passive voice. وبعد كده تشوف ال 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 structure بتاعته مش زي كده. Okay. And the focus here about yes, smile. Can I remove the mouse, please? I can't uh, get your point. Okay. Okay, you're welcome, but I didn't understand what you what you want here. Okay, number two, when the doer is unknown, yep, as this is another case, so I have to use um, passive voice. When the doer is unknown, Aldrin was asked to run. طيب, who asked him to run? 
مين اللي سألوا مين اللي طلب منه ده we don't know it's unknown who asked Aldrin to run it's okay till now do you have any problem okay good changing the voice of a uh, verb it's simple to change active to passive and vice versa let's see to change active to passive simply make the subject in the active voice the object of sentence in the passive voice you know what I mean you have to make the subject and uh, transform the subject to be the object of the sentence okay like he passed the test which one is the subject he object the test طيب انا عايزه اعمل لها ترانسفورميشن وعايزه احولها من الاكتيف للباسيف ايه اللي انا هعمله هاخد الاوبجكت اللي هو ال test اخده اخليه ايه السبجكت yes the test was passed thank you say thank you very much طيب what else um, طبعا uh, the object of the sentence in the passive voice introduced by the preposition uh, the preposition by okay لازم احط um, before the um, object نفسه in preposition by to change passive to active please focus يعني pay attention عشان um, يعني ما بين ال point دي تعمل مشكلة معاكم شوية ف take care هي simple أوي بس but take care to change passive to active simply make the object of the preposition اللي هو ال which came after by the word after by okay the subject of the sentence يعني ال ال word اللي جاية بعد by هي اللي هتبقى ال subject بتاعي please Note so that when changing voice, uh, the verb must agree in number with the subject. Uh, all the time, I'm asking you to take care of S V A, which I mean. Can you tell me uh, what do we mean uh, by S V A? And this is the the assignments. So I'm going to them correction. And tell them, hold on, welcome to S V A. Do you remember? Is it S V A? Anyone here? Hmm. Plural? No. <laughs> huh? Okay. S V A Ilhaya subject verb agreement. Subject verb agreement. And lazim a fi agreement between my subject and a uh, verb. Yani subject um singular. So a verb lazim a fi Um, relation we know my being a subject it's okay uh, she plays not she play you got what I mean okay this is what we mean by uh, SVA subject verb agreement like this point and the tense or time uh, must be the same as the tense in the uh, original sentence let's have examples Active. The military rescued the victims. The military rescued the victims. It's okay. Type. This is active voice. What about the passive? Uh, the passive voice. Yes. The victims were rescued by the military. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Another one. Passive. Fundraising activity was organized by him, and this is passive voice. What about changing it uh, to the active voice? He, he, Lawa, إحنا جبنا ال ال word اللي بعد boy خليناها هي تكون تكون subject day. Yes, yes. He organized fundraising activity. It's okay. Another one, the victims thanked the military. 
this is active. What about being passive? The military were thanked by the victims. طيب لو أنا مش مهم أو it's not important uh, to mention the victims, so I'll stop here. The military were thanked. It's okay. طيب why uh, we are studying uh, active and passive voice? Okay. لا هنا the military إحنا قصدين بيوم ك ك group كاملة وديني. It's okay. هنا you have two options. You can speak about them إن هما زي family واحدة. و you can speak about them إن هي فيها members كتير. You got what I mean? Okay. Hi Ahmed. Welcome. You're welcome. Okay. طيب. Uh, I'm teaching you. What? Sorry. I, I can't understand what you mean, Ahmed. What you talk about? All what, what, oh, what? Write clear word. I can't understand you, Ahmed. Please. Okay. Li uh, we are studying active and voice and, <laughs> and passive voice. Li la'inni fil eyelids. Hanihtek fil speaking, fil writing. In uh, nihna مين اللي احنا نديله importance أكتر which one is more important the subject or the object which one do I have to use active or passive voice it's okay this is why يعني أنا I'm teaching you active and passive voice it's okay that uh, actually today احنا عندنا حاجة كتير جدا many things so um, خلاص let's end this point do you have any question Okay, you're welcome. Shayma, holding side. Okay. We mean eyelids. Okay. Now let's speak about cohesion. It's okay. We are going to speak about cohesion. We, mainly, this part is very important for hakteen in your writing and your speaking. It's okay. Uh, all the time, you may find good essay or a good paragraph, but um, it doesn't have cohesion. It has cohesion. It's okay. The ideas uh, are not related to each other. فدي بتعمل problem كبيرة و you may lose more يعني بسبب ال point دي it's okay um, the most com uh, convincing ideas in the world expressed in the most beautiful sentences will move no one unless those ideas are connected unless readers can move easily from one thought to another they will surely find something else to read or uh, turn on the television, okay? Type. Now I'll give you uh, many examples. They name cohesion between the ideas. Yani, if I wanted to add an idea uh, to another idea, the addition, I mean, I have to say again or uh, also and and then besides equally, um, finally, first, further, furthermore. In addition, in the first place, it's okay. That's how to make addition. Let's speak about comparison. You have to say also in the same way, likewise, similarly. Okay. Let's speak about concession. We can say naturally, uh, granted, of course. And if you are speaking about contrast between uh, two things or two ideas, you have to say although and yet uh, at the same time um, despite that even so, even though for all that however in contrast in spite of instead, okay? 
طبعا ان شاء الله اه uh, by the way uh, you asking me about uh, about the material I didn't upload uh, the material of the last lecture till now I know um, يعني I'm sorry it was really out of my hand يعني I'm so sorry ان شاء الله after after this lecture uh, all the material will be in your hand ان شاء الله and you can study and take your time okay what about emphasis you can say certainly indeed in fact of course example or illustration we take care all the time when you have to uh, mention that you are gonna uh, write example they after all as an illustration even for example for instance in conclusion indeed in fact in other words okay الحاجات دي sample but very important don't forget it طبعا if you want to summarize all in all all together uh, as has been said finally in brief in conclusion other words okay in short in uh, simpler terms in summary you can use many words time sequence after while after word again also and then as long as at last at length okay you have to study uh, many words like that طيب. um let's speak about uh, pronoun reference pronoun reference طيب. many times in احنا نشوف في essay or paragraph انه the writer give uh, the middle of the paragraph ومثلا speak uh, Ismail, uh, sorry, you are complaining about the speaking component? What do you mean by N? Presentation? Uh, this is your first time here? You can speak uh, fluently, you mean? Okay, oh, this is your first time type. Okay, um, please, please, um, I want you to watch uh, our uh, last videos the course. هتلاقيها على YouTube channel بتاعنا. It's okay. في the speaking component, يعني أنا يعني شرحته بالdetails بتاعته. It's okay. How are you? Welcome. Okay. طيب. For example, when I say إحنا we are speaking about pronoun uh, pronoun reference. طيب. Please, يا جماعة بس please. If you have any question um, which is not related للي أنا بتكلم فيه يعني aside شوية ممكن في the break after the lecture يعني uh, على الجروب uh, يعني بجد أنا تحت أمركو بس يعني عشان بس يبقى the explanation ماشي كويس. I'm sorry. When we say um, Noha uh, is a student, it's okay. Noha is a student. Um, she um, goes to school every day, for example. Type. And I have a Noha is a student, and Noha goes to school every day. This is my pronoun reference. In Anna, instead of using the same noun, لا أنا استخدمت ال pronoun. إيه بدلا منه بس I have to mention في الأول مين هو السبجكت ده يعني I can't start my paragraph or my essay uh, by writing she طب يعني مين هي she دي مين so you have to mention your subject uh, at least for uh, just one time it's okay pronouns quite naturally connect to ideas because uh, pronouns almost always refer the reader to something earlier in the text طيب يبقى ايه هي اليوز للبرونون ايه هو اليوز بتاعها ان هي ريفير ريفير لسمثينج مي لوك ان ايرلير ان ذا تكست حاجه قبلها بشوي سو اي كانت سي اي كانت سي ذيس از ترو بيكوز ويزاوت كوزينج ذا ريدر تو كونسيدر وات ذيس 
طيب ما هو at least the reader will ask will ask what do you mean by this okay the reader wants to know what do you mean by this لازم تقول ايه هي problem او ايه هي the point that you are speaking about after that give him the reasons it's okay ف ما عملش ال 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 confusion ده يعني وانا during my writing okay hello hand welcome This the pronoun causes reader to sum up what was uh, said before. What this is before going on to the because part of uh, my reasoning. Type. Now uh, we will stop uh, studying theoretical um, parts. خلينا نشوف كده حاجة practical. It's okay. I want you. Please, can you see this paragraph? Can you see this? Clear? Okay. I'll give you two minutes only. I want you to read it. And after that, uh, give me your opinions. Uh, tell me, do you find cohesion? Do you find il il ideas related to or not? It's okay? Uh, yes, reading. You have two minutes. Just read this paragraph and give me your own opinions. What about uh, linking the ideas? Um, what about the cohesion? Okay. If you can see, tell me this. Uh, number one uh, means that you you can see okay yes thank you okay yes Two minutes only. Okay. Do we have anyone you couldn't finish um, reading the paragraph? First, he spoke about preserving bodies. It's okay. Hmm. Then he spoke about king who died. Hmm? Yes, Hussein. Uh, the focus Egyptian discovered mummies. There is no coherence in the test. Okay. Yes. So I feel. Uh, إن يعني إن أنتوا شايفين إنه ما فيش cohesion يعني ال ideas are not arranged right after that he returned to speak about the process of preserving but yes protein yes excellent way okay coherence we mean يعني أما when I say coherence I mean the relation between the ideas are they arranged and we have linking words or not separated ideas yes same excellent okay so okay have you finished reading have you all finished reading connection between idea yeah Press one if you have finished reading. It's okay. Let's uh, have the comment. The week this paragraph is not a total washout. It starts with a topic sentence, and the sentences that follow are clearly related to the topic sentence. 
In the language of writing, the paragraph is unified. It contains no irrelevant details. It's okay? Time. However, the paragraph is not coherent. The sentences are disconnected from each other, and that's wh uh, what you told me about. Making it difficult for the reader to follow the writer's train of thought. It's okay? Okay, I try to uh, look it up, and I'm, I'm not going to translate uh, everything yet. And I'm, sure I'm not focusing on the translation, I'm focusing on point. And I'm talking now about coherence. So if you have problem, just but you know, how do you use it? Always look at uh, looking up the the vocab. Okay. Okay. Please pay attention. You know, just put yourself in a point to my own, and see the explanation. Now, so I want you to use it as much as possible. Okay. Okay. Below is the same paragraph. Okay. We will see the paragraph for the second time. Revised for coherence. So now you will see it. يعني خلاص بقى عملنا لها coherence. شوفنا إيه ال ال mistakes اللي كانت موجودة وعملنا لها correction. Italics indicates pronouns and repeated or restated keywords. Bold indicates transitional um, tag words and underlining indicates parallel structure. Okay? Let's see. We take care of the things that are italics and bold and underlined. They are the changes that we are doing. Can you read? Can you read? Well, uh, do I have to zoom? Huh? It's okay. لا مش هتبقى it won't be clear. Okay, okay. Now it's better. Okay, go on. You have another two minutes. The uh, ancient Egyptians were masters of preserving dead people, people's bodies by making mummies of them. In short, mummification consisted of removing the internal organs, applying natural pre, uh, preser preservatives uh, inside and out, and then wrapping the body in layers of bandages. الحاجات اللي هي هنشوفها كلها بولد دي الحاجات اللي حصلها اداشن كانتش موجوده في الفيرست باركر I think يعني you finished this part let's have it معلش السبيس دي يعني this is my fault يعني هو just one paragraph والسبيس دي my fault يعني Okay. So I'm from Morocco. It's time for Maghreb. Okay, go and pray, Sayyid. Go and pray. We are waiting for you. You're welcome. Okay. You have one minute. Tell me, tell me, it's better uh, or not? Yani, you feel in a um, fee difference between the two paragraphs after cohesion or not? Yani, you as a reader, has it been a fee difference? Well, I did. It's okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Difference, yes. Okay. Type. Hmm. I wanted to um, to know your opinions. If have something, okay. This part uh, finished. Thank you very much. 
طيب بالنسبه لل ايلتس تيستس اللي احنا المفروض نحلهم مع بعض اوكي وي هاف تو اوبشنز اند يو هاف تو تشوز بيتوين ذيم ااا وات دو يو بريفير يعني اني اسيب لكم التست نفسه مثلا في الجروبس وي هاف تو انسر يعني تو سند او ان سند مي يور انسرز واعمل لها كوركشن وارجع لكم في لكتشر نعمل ديسكشن على المستيكس بتاعتكم وايه هي ال ال points of weakness عندكم ولا um, here يعني we have to answer uh, the test here في, في lecture what do you prefer <laughs> I don't understand number one <laughs> لا يعني write down here in the lecture or first option send it to you First choice, we can make it here first. Okay, huh? Any other student? Okay, as my Fifi Hussein Ahmed, Zawood, Muldini. Okay. Task as assignment. Type. I want to tell you, إحنا حتى even إنه إحنا هنعمل هنا in the lecture answering, هيبقى reading and Uh, and listening only لأن طبعا writing you, you will not have enough time ولا speaking ينفهم فأنا I prefer the first option أني I'll give you a test uh, and have your answers وأشوف السكورز بتاعكوا إيه ونشوف إيه ال points of weakness وبعد كده أجي هنا نعمل discussion في اللي حصل بس طبعا يعني يعني it's not Uh, problem مش مشكلة أنا أفضل إيه المهم أنتوا عايزين إيه طيب what do you want okay أنتوا you are all agree okay so um, يبقى إن شاء الله um, next lecture هتكون يعني أنا مش هحددها دلوقتي بقى هنحددها على ال الجروب الدارين أكاديمي or let's improve our English ما هي I'm I'm not going to tell you now okay أو هقول another choice إيه رأيكوا إن أنا أديك one week يعني what ممكن أديك one week و next Monday إن شاء الله I can meet you تكون أنتوا خدتوا وقت كتير تحلوا and answer uh, IELTS tests يعني maybe كل ما هتخلصوا test و uh, you want more I give you more it's okay so we will have uh, just one week طيب في حد هنا معي من الدعم الفني لو سمحتوا اه oh, okay أحمد <laughs> okay Ah uh, yes, I know Hafifi. I know. Inshallah, I'm going to give you many, uh, uh, many tests. لا هي مش مش just one. يعني أكيد. When you finish one, you will have another one. It's okay. I didn't see the title test before, but how can he is picking part in it? Okay, Asma, uh, you have to uh, watch the speaking uh, component on the uh, YouTube channel. It's okay. Yani, I think um, one week or two weeks ago, we had a speaking component in detail. You're welcome all. Buster, guys, if you have any suggestion, yani, don't try to do it. Tell me on the It's okay. وحتى يعني إحنا هنا مثلاً ما فيش لكتشر أو حاجة. I'm available all the time على ال ال الجروب. It's okay. Tell me anything you want. و please لو في أي حد هيبقى عنده أيلتس وهيروحوا يعني خليكوا كده keep in touch يعني قولوا لي عملتوا إيه. 
I spent the exam and component and you can tell me. Okay, watch our <laughs> lectures and then tell me your opinion, smile. Okay. Okay, Ismail, uh, send me in box to uh, tell me in detail what happened and what the points of weakness can it and the problems you faced during the uh, IELTS tests, okay? Tell me everything and I will help you, inshallah. Now, let's speak about... Okay, Hussam, welcome. Let's speak about... Um, the factual versus the unreal or uh, hypothetical اللي هي يا جماعة conditional F you know this I know no one uh, no one loves F يعني أنا I know I know all the students <laughs> all the time have the same problem I know but today um, I'm going to teach you um, ال ال الرولز بتاعت اف يعني بطريقه ديفرنت شويه اوكي واي هوب ان انتم ان شاء الله يو ويل جات ات يعني جات ات سوري اوكي فكونسنتريت از يو كان حسام يو تولد مي اي نيد ذا كابري ديت طيب حسام يو ار ون اوف اور ممبرز على ليتس امبروف اور انجلش الجروب بتاعنا ليتس امبروف اور انجلش انت ممبر فيو اور نوت If you are okay, join our group. Okay, and I have this link. I I posted a link. Like that, في vocabulary islets. يعني enough. Really, really, it will be so useful for you. طيب أنا after lecture دائما هتلاقي دعم الفني إن شاء الله يحط اللينكات على طول. Okay, يلا let's start. The factual versus the unreal or hypothetical. Okay. In high school memories, <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. You know, yani, uh, all my students, when I tell them we are going to study uh, conditional F today, yani, we do any reactions, and I'm just going I don't know why people hate it. Yet. Yes, it's yes, cool. Okay, but uh, okay. Okay, um, Sayed Al Nufi, um, I'm speaking with my uh, students. It's okay. So don't tell me what I have to do, please. يعني أنا بشتغل في الكورس, okay? ف don't tell me uh, what I have to do. طيب يلا let's continue. In expressing um, conditional situation, okay said, okay never mind, you're welcome. In expressing conditional situation, we must be able to distinguish between uh, what's a factual statement and what's a hypothetical statement. It's okay. If and now we have to know the difference between factual statement and what is a hypothetical statement. Okay. Other terms for hypothetical could be, يعني في معاني تانية للhypothetical اللي هي ممكن تكون إيه unreal, imagined, wished for, or only possible. For instance, if we say يبقى الحاجات اللي هي uh, unreal, imagined, wished, uh, only possible we are using uh, or we call them hypothetical statements it's okay طبعا ال uh, factual حاجة حقيقية مش unreal ومش imagined مش wish مش um, just only possible it's okay please concentrate عشان ان شاء الله if you understand this مش هتلاقوا اي صعوبة في uh, في اف بعد كده after that So pay attention as you can. Okay? 
when you say the dog, the dog is always happy when dad stays home. This is a fact or not? Tell me please, this is a fact or not? Yani, the speaker is speaking about facts? So this is a factual situation or a statement? Okay. So that's a simple statement of present habitual fact. A general truth is expressed in the same way. So, if we have truth, حقيقة, موجودة, like if the sun shines all day, it gets hot. If the sun shines all day, it gets hot. This is a fact or not? Huh? Fact. Yes, this is a fact. Why do you say no? <laughs> if the sun shines all day, it gets hot. Okay. You are now? Maybe imagined, maybe wish, maybe um, um, regret, maybe. Okay? Type. And conditional or hypothetical statements can be made about the future. Let's have an example. I'll give you a call if I fly to Phoenix tomorrow. Type. You are Something will happen. متوقف علي حدث تاني. It's okay. This is the future. But we have difference between speaking about truth and speaking about something which may happen in the future. ولو ده حصل أنا هكمل ال plan بتاعتي. I'll give you a call. Okay. Like if you study hard, you will succeed. Okay. Yes. This is the condition. If you study hard, you will succeed. The difference now, the difference between the facts. If the sun shines all day, it gets hot. The difference, and I'm speaking about something. لا والله لو حصل, I'll do um, specific. Then, in the future, we could combine the base form of verb, like give, in this case. Uh, with other model verbs, they may, uh, might, or could. Let's speak about um, hypothetical statements. It's okay. Type, please, Yani. Uh, okay, Ismail, thank you very much. But Yani, Anna Malish, Yani, I want to explain, but sorry, عشان Yani, Anna was dead for grammar, but I don't know if I can tell you that. Breakfast tomorrow. Okay. So, um, when we express the hypothetical in English in the present tense, we end up using the past tense in an interesting way. Again, when we express the hypothetical in English in the present tense, yeah, now, if, now we, if we are speaking about present, we end up using the past tense in an interesting way. For example, if you like the tennis, we could go play on the new courts. But say, come on. The cases without F, diamond, we go one step back. The next step lower. If you are speaking about present, huh? You will make it past my F. For example, if you like the tennis, liked, huh? We could go play. The new chords. comment Instead of could, we could have used what or might. It's not a problem. In that sentence, the speaker of that sentence is not talking about something in the past. How? It's not. Smile, please. I'm explaining now, please. In a state of God, خلاص خلصناها, uh, the speaker of that sentence is not talking about something in the past. Type. مع إني أنا شايفة هنا, and he is he is using past simple tense, liked, okay? But actually, we are speaking about situation in present. As I told you, إني أنا برجع step back في uh, conditional F. If I'm speaking about uh, situation in present, so I have to use uh, past tense, ma'af. 
you got uh, this point. يعني if you are speaking about future, يبقى we will use present. هنتكلم عن present, يبقى we use past مع F. If you are speaking about the past, هيبقى past participle. ترجعوا دايما step لورا. Okay. Even though, even though he uses the past tense liked, the speaker implies in fact that هو قصده ايه؟ You don't like to play tennis in the present. هو بيقول له انت مش بتحب تلعب tennis. So there is no point now in going to uh, the new tennis court. يعني انت اصلا مش بتحب التنس فملهوش لازمة خالص ان احنا نروح uh, new tennis court. Okay? يبقى something ها huh? Not real. يعني حاجة يا ريت ده كان حاصل بس للأسف ده مش موجود حاليا. دي مش factual؟ لا دي دي hypothetical. It's okay يبقى أنا um, يعني كان نفسي إن أنت تكون كده بس you are not like that so إحنا مش محتاجين نروح ال new tennis court. يبقى ال situation in present رجعته أنا step لورا استخدمنا إيه؟ استخدمنا we used uh, past مع F و after that could or what, whatever يعني, plus the infinitive of the verb. أنا I'm not um, going to focus uh, on structures. مش عايزة أفضل أركز على the structures. قد ما عايزة أركز على uh, when uh, you have to use them. Said you can't, you didn't get it. Again, again, it's okay. مش مش We are speaking about hypothetical. إحنا قلنا إن إحنا we have two kinds. It's okay. Factual and we have unreal or hypothetical. The factual, زي ما قلنا كده, about the sunshine. Okay. أو the facts اللي موجودة في حياتنا مو. طيب. Let's speak about hypothetical. اللي هي إيه hypothetical? Something which is unreal, imagined, or wished for. It's okay. Okay, goodbye. When we express the hypothetical in English in the present tense, we end up using the past tense in an interesting way. Yani, we mean, and if you have to use hypothetical statements, okay, and you are speaking about situation in present. Now, I want to speak about something in present, but I have to use Conditional F. Okay? Thank you, Say. Thank you very much. يبقى ال Conditional F هعمل فيها ايه؟ هرجع step لورا. دايما وانا بستخدم ال Conditional F برجع step back. You are speaking about present. يبقى استخدم ال past مع Conditional F. It's okay? Okay. Uh, now أنا يعني أنا بعمل uh, repetition بعيد ال idea تاني عشان I'm sorry أنا نسيت مين اللي سألني إنه أو told me he can't understand طيب again يبقى if we are speaking about situation in present uh, we have to use past tense thank you slide oh yes Mr. Said were, uh, was asking طيب now um, You understand till now? إحنا لسه في قدامنا شوية هنكملهم كتير. You understand? Okay. يبقى the speaker implies in fact that you don't like to play tennis in present, so there is no point now going to the new tennis court. طيب. Another point بقى. يلا. When we use the hypothetical in this conditional mood, okay, we accommodate our need to speculate on how things could have been different, how we wish. So here, look here, ba. These cases, اللي أنا بستخدم فيها hypothetical statements. How we wish things were different. نكون أتمنى يا ريت الحاجة دي كانت مختلفة. How we imagine that things could be different in the future. It's okay. هو ده معنى ال hypothetical statements. We have great difference between factual and hypothetical. 
okay? In order to express the unreal, the hypothetical, um, okay, speculative or imagined, all those being the same in this case. Okay? Okay, Shahid, may Allah please you. English has adopted an interesting habit of moving uh, time one step backward. Moving time one step backward. It's not new. Two verbs are involved. We have two, two verbs. One in the clause stating uh, the conditional, the F clause, and one in the result clause. We are playing with two verbs. One verb in the um, uh, F clause, the clause that F, and the other one for a result data. Said we are speaking about a hypothetical statements and how we use uh, conditional F. Okay? طيب تعالوا نشوف كده um, إيه هي ال different situations طيب أنا if I have um, situation in future how can I express myself um, by using um, conditional F? If the hypothetical result is in the future, huh? We put the verb in the conditional clause one step back. Yeah, if you are waiting for the result to be in future, the care. We put the verb in the conditional uh, condition clause one step back. Into present. In future, the present. Let's have examples. If the pulse win the game tomorrow, huh? They'll be uh, champs again. عملنا إيه؟ ها؟ رجعنا one step back. طيب if I'm speaking about present unreal events, present but unreal. Here one another championship. Roberto would drive into Chicago for the celebration. يعني لو هو present to unreal عملنا إيه؟ ها؟ Step back. استخدمنا ال posts. Posts here and here what plus infinitive. It's okay. Let's have another one. I wish I wish I had tickets. I wish I had tickets. كنت أتمنى بس but actually I don't have. This is present. A situation in present. Just a minute please. Okay. The situation is in present, but I have to use past. It's okay. Type. If they were available anywhere, I would pay any price for them. If they were. Just minute, Anna. I want you to see. Mina, welcome back, Mina. Where are you? Mina, no, 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 still here. Stay here, sorry, please. خليك هنا. No. We are speaking about uh, conditional F, Mina. Okay. So, I wish I had tickets. يبقى, يا جماعة, please try to understand إمتى تستخدموا ال 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 cases أو ال ال الحالات بتاعتها أكتر من إني دايما الناس مشكلة الناس كلها إن هما بيعملوا الفوكس كله على ال structure هنا ال F plus infinitive or present يبقى في ال result close تبقى well plus infinitive مش ده اللي احنا عايزينه طب ما انت في الآخر بتيجي تلاقي نفسك مش عارف تستخدم مين فيهم يعني which one do I have to use it's okay فدايما يخلي ال concentration بتاعنا على when I have to use them if they were available anywhere, I would pay any price for them. With the care, في حاجة ضروري قوي إن where دائما مع if even your subject he uh, she was whatever حتى الحاجات اللي بتاخد was برضو هنحط لها where. It's okay. 
اوكي يعني anything if I wear you if she wear if he wear اوكي yes with if only yeah if he wear good friends he would buy them for me لو كان هو good friend كان هيشتري هم لي يبقى I'm speaking about present بس أنا حاولتها step back يبقى لإيه ها لورا اوكي ال 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 اف كلها ال conditional اف كلها يسنا طيب نوت that wishing is always an unreal condition wishing unreal condition نوت that the verb to be uses the form where that's what I told you about in an unreal condition more about this in a moment is it the same in English? I can't understand your question now. For past and real, if now we studied, لو أنا عندي something in future, if I want to speak about something in future, it's okay. برجع step لورا وأستخدم I have to use a ها I have to use the present. It's okay. If I'm speaking about situation in present, I have to go step back and use ha huh, past. It's okay. Type now and I see something past to unreal. What I have to do? Yes, yes, past perfect, excellent, excellent. Things that didn't happen, but we can imagine. Okay. مينا you didn't understand what طب يعني tell me كده من منين بالضبط ما قدرتش تفهم tell me I know إن هي ال ال الوي نفسها الوي نفسها ممكن تكون جديدة عليكم شوية بس صدقوني if you understand this وفهمتوا إمتى تستخدموها it will be so easy ما فيش حاجة اسمها مشكلة في conditional F بعد كده. It's okay, Mina. Last portion about when to use where. Okay. If I had a car, I would have gone text. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just practice. Thank you, Mina. I'm speaking about where the form of verb to be. دائما لما يكون معي F conditional F فيش حاجة اسمها was. Even in the subject of day, she, he, or at, he wear, she wear, I wear, wear the, use the mainly مع ال conditional F. It's okay. Like um, if I wear you, I study hard. If I wear you, ما إني mainly in English بقول I was. Okay. لكن in conditional F, I have to say wear. Okay. Don't worry, honey. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Welcome back. <sighs> Mina, you got it? Uh, yes. Yes. You have to use where all the time instead of false. Okay. Yeah. Type anyone here. Uh, do you have any question? Ashen, Anna, I'm going to you. I want you to understand everything. Do you have any question or do I have to continue? Hmm? Okay. Thank you. Bye. For past and real events, uh, things that didn't happen, but we can imagine we put the verb in the condition clause further step back. يبقى past يرجع أكتر. إيه الأكتر من ال past؟ ها past participle. Sorry, past perfect. Sorry. We put the verb in condition clause further step back into the past perfect. Okay. If the pacer had pacers had won. I'm glad would have been rich. I'm speaking about past. 
but رجعتها هالورا أكتر بيت had plus pp in unglad would have plus pp been rich. يبا actually I'm speaking about situation where ها in past. هرجعوا أكتر يبا past perfect. ودايما بيبقى something من إيه يعني all the time something you can imagine. It's okay. يعني مين اللي دايما أو يعني ما تخلينيش أقول دايما بس مين اللي ال second case من F بنستخدمها مع الوش يعني if I wear you for example. Okay. لكن ال third condition لا دي imagination. If she had paid that much money on the pulse, she and Uncle John could have retired. Something which is imagination. If I had known you, uh, if I had known you were coming, okay, I'd have picked the cake. Okay, لو كنت عرفت إنك جاي, I'd have picked the cake. In this last sentence, note the conditional clause in the past perfect had known, and the result clause that uses the conditional model have plus uh, the past participle of the main verb would have picked. Now I want to ask you, if I want to speak about future, okay, uh, which tense do I have to put in uh, F clause? If my situation is in future, hmm. answer me, please. I want to be sure that you you, you got it. Yeah. Present. Excellent. Excellent. Said in Asma. Okay. If the situation in present, what I have to do? Uh, my F close. Past. Excellent. Okay. Past. If the situation is in the past, huh? Past perfect. Past perfect. Excellent. Now, كده الحمد لله. I can say الحمد لله. You got what I mean. طيب actually أنا I don't I don't want this paper في غيرها another one طيب this is بقى the form you used to see okay and you used to study هو ده الفورم ها you used to study لقيت كده والكده أو points first conditional تبقى present و another أو في result بتاعت ال conditional نحط well plus infinitive second condition past and here what plus infinitive صح كده؟ and this is not it's not the problem دي مش دي القضية خالص okay now you know when you have to use each one of them. بعد كده it's okay إن أنا هوظفها بطريقة صح. If I have enough money, I'll go to Japan. Condition clause, and this is the main clause. Okay. First, second, and third conditional. First conditional. If I have enough money, I'll go to Japan, and this is the first one. Second conditional. If I had enough money, I'd go to Japan. Have became had. Third conditional, if I had had enough money, I'd have gone to Japan. Okay. Um, هنا هتلاقوا ال description أو ال explanation بتاع الكلام اللي إحنا قلناه two minutes ago تقريبا. It's okay. طبعا المaterial دي كلها إن شاء الله. will be uploaded على الجروب على طول. Now, um, في في معنا grammar test أصلا you will answer grammar test. It's okay. فبراكتس don't worry about practice here. Yeah. 
Do you have any question here? انا بس I want to show you. Okay. Um, the schedule ده. Okay. Let's see another thing. Okay. I want to refresh your mind. And we have grammar test. Okay. Quickly, quickly, please. I want you to choose the correct answer and answer me quickly as you can. We want to save our time. Okay. Number one. Tom ha coffee. He doesn't like it. Is drinking not drinks? Doesn't drink. C. Okay. Hmm. Quickly as you can, please. Hmm. A. C. Hmm. C. C. Yes, I'm a Fifi. Me, Safa. C. Hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, the right answer. C. Tom doesn't drink coffee. Okay. Ha. Huh? He. Uh, tennis when he broke his wrists. Was playing. Play. Plays. Has. Played. Huh. C. C. A. A. Ha. Huh. A. Huh? A. My, welcome back. A. A hand. Okay, very good. Yes. Something which was happening and something else came to cut the action. طب um, ده ال um, past continuous. إنه كان في two actions. One of them uh, cut the other one. Yes. Number three. Were there any letters today? No, the postman ha huh, yet doesn't come, wasn't come, hasn't come. C. Z C okay. Adir C. Said C. Excellent. C. Yes. Present perfect. You look really hot. Are you running or did you run or have you been running? Hmm. C. C. C, C, excellent. Okay. How long has Sarah been living in Germany? Since, for, during, while, five years. Hmm. B, A, five, A, B, A, B, huh? A or B? <laughs> A, A. I, I feel that you have problem with sense and four. Yeah, is the correct answer four. Four, five years. When I have number, certain number, I, um, I have to use four. Four Bardo is used ma a long time, for a long time, if you want to use the word um, long time. Okay? Since all the time comes with nouns, dates, um, period of time. احنا مش عارفين نحددها. It's okay. هي جاية معنا في prepositions. Don't worry. جاية في prepositions. We will study it. Don't worry, hand. Don't worry, hand. No problem. When I arrived at the airport, the plane has already left, already left, had already left. Hmm. Number six, please. A C C C A A C Yeah, okay. A um, Okay, is the, is the right answer C had already left. Past perfect tense. When I arrived at the airport the plane had already left. Okay? Two actions. One of them happened before the other one. Number seven. What in the country? I ha huh, in the country, but I had to move to the city for my new job. Used to live 
or uh, used to living wasn't used to living ها huh. A B A ها huh. I'm waiting for your answers it's okay A ها huh. Seven C A. This is the right answer. Used to love A. Used to love. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Number eight. I'm feeling tired. I don't think I ha tonight. Go out. I'll go out. I'm going out. B as me. Hmm. Number eight, Sigma C. B. Hmm. B. I saw him. Said that we have Safa. B. Money. Yes. Yes. This is the right answer. B. I'll go out. Thank you. What do you think you uh, this time next year will be doing? Are going to do? Do? Are doing? A, Hisham, Said B, hmm. A, Said, um, Asma B, Said, huh, hmm. A, A, the right answer is A, excellent. I, yeah, Yani, what do you think you will be doing? Future continuous. That I mean, tense da expressing something uh, which will happen, but يعني في time محدد جدا. For example, for example, when I say um, tomorrow, tomorrow, um, eight six o'clock, I'll be waiting for you. خلاص, it's okay. يبقى I'll be waiting for you, بس في وقت معين. Yes, you said. Number ten. I ha be a doctor. I'd hate it. Could have, uh, sorry, couldn't have, can't, couldn't, not able to. What do you think? Hmm. B. B. Hmm? I'm waiting for the others. Hmm? D? La, also, here, expression, expression, uh, couldn't be. The expression also means, in no, yani, this thing is impossible. Impossible for me. I couldn't be. I couldn't be a doctor. I hate it. Okay? This is expression. Okay. I'll stop here. We خلينا نعمل movement كده. Prepositions. عشان I يعني مش عايزة ما نوي بقى ممل وممكن نرجع تاني لل practice. بعدا. Type. I think I think in uh, most people, they man and them problem with prepositions and how to use them. Or maybe in no, بيحصل لنا نحنا بننسى the preposition اللي كان suitable the word دي a. يعني um, upset um, example عندنا afraid, afraid of, not afraid from. Okay. Let's uh, speak about prepositions or locat locators in time and place. Preposition describes relationship between other words in a sentence in itself. A word like in or after is rather meaningless and hard to define uh, in mere words. Let's speak about prepositions of time eight on in in eight on in. We use at to designate specific times. For example, the train is due at 12.15 p.m. Okay? Give a specific time, at. 
we use on to design dates uh, or days. For example, my brother is coming on Monday. We, uh, we're having a party on the 4th of July. Be specific, dates or days on the care. We use N for non-specific times during a day, a month, a season, or a year. She likes to jog in the morning, in the morning. It's too cold in winter season. He started the job in uh, 1971. Date. He's going to quit in August, months. It's okay. Take care of the difference between them. Do you have problem with prepositions or it's easy for you? We use at when you go to small local. Yes, but you are speaking about please. Uh, we will study it now in Hashem. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Prepositions of place at on and n. And here, here at on n. But we are speaking about time. Now we are speaking about place. Okay. We use at for a specific address. Specific address. Grammar English <laughs> left at uh, 55 uh, Ports Road in Doha. Yep. Uh, specific address. 55 Ports. We use on to design name, num, uh, names of streets, uh, avenues, or uh, many things like that. Her house is on Ports Road. Take care. Take care. When we um, mention a name of the street, we use on. Like in, in, in number bar, at. It may be specific. You got it? You understand? Give me any reaction? Any reaction? You understand? <laughs> okay. Wake up. Wake up. Letter? Why? Okay. Again, um, I said, I said, when you have specific address, a home محدد أوي بالنمبر بتاعه 55, we use at. لكن لو name of street أو avenue أو أي حاجة زي كده, just you have to uh, to use on. Yes, very easy, alhamdulillah. And we use n for the names of land areas, towns, countries, states, um, and um, continents. She lives in uh, Durham. Durham is in uh, Wenham country. Okay, and Wenham country is in um, Connecticut. Okay, Shem? Understand? Okay. Prepositions of location in, at, and on. In, at, and on. And no preposition. Sometimes, you don't need to use prepositions like downstairs, downtown, inside, outside, upstairs, uptown. Hagidzi, we are not using prepositions with them. In the bed, the bedroom, in the car, in the class, in the library, in the school. Uh, okay. At class, home, library, the office, school, work. Okay. أنا عايزة الفورت المهم هنا طبعا هنا we were speaking about اللي هي no preposition اللي هي something like as I told you downtown, uptown, inside, outside, downstairs um, you don't need it طيب let's speak about since and for عشان this is the point اللي أنا كنت عايزة I want to explain it okay we use for just minutes, minute, minutes. Okay. We use for when we measure time, 
seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, years. As I told you, يا جماعة في عندي period of time محددة و I know هي قد إيه بالضبط for three days, for just one week, for a year, for ten years. Something specific وأنا عارفة. He held his press for seven minutes. I have number. Um, she has lived there for seven years. The bridge in Irish have been uh, quarreling for seven centuries. Seven number. Where another thing I want to tell you, when I say a long time, we have to use for for a long time. What about since? We use since with specific date or time. Date. Or time. Take care. He has worked here since 1970. Type. Okay. 1970. This is a number. Why we didn't use four? لا. Okay. It's a number. But type. Into I to the Lord. For example. You know? لا سيد اوكي ناو انت انت ابتديت ان انت تحسب احنا فور اكزامبل ان وي ار 2013 فابتديت تعمل um, تشوف هاو ماني ييرز يعني هي هاز وركد ذير لا هي الفكره مش كده ميبي ميبي ان انا ام ريدنج التكست ده في وقت تاني مش مش شرط ان انا ناو uh, انت ما تعرفش هو كان بيكتبه امتى ويتش يير هو كان كاتبه امتى It's okay. يبقى هنا هو محدد لي ديت بس مش محدد لي كم سنة. She has been sitting in the waiting room since two thirty. Two thirty. هل إحنا دلوقتي نعرف what time is it؟ إحنا نعرف الساعة كم؟ يعني هي هي مستنيين من 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 two thirty. طب أنت تعرف الساعة كم دلوقتي؟ هل احنا هنعمل ميجر ميجر بتاعنا على اساس التايم بتاعنا احنا؟ لا حاجه نوت سبيسيفيك خالص حاجه مش مش محدده كمان انا معرفش تيك كير بليز عشان يعني في ناس كتير بتعمل فيها ميستيكس طيب هنا اي تراي تو كولكت الحاجات اللي هي ناس بتعمل فيها ميستيكس في البروبوزيشنز ومجمعينها مع بعضهم Nouns and prepositions, adjectives and prepositions, verbs and prepositions. Let's have examples. Approval of, awareness of, belief in, concern for, confusion about, desire for, fondness for, grasp of, hatred of, hope for, interest in, love of, need for, participation in, reason for, respect for, success in, um, understanding of. Take care. يعني even you um you are familiar with the prepositions, but I know I know. ما فيش حد فينا um مش بيجي له وقت يحس إن في confusion في preposition. أنا نفسي um بي sometimes يعني بيحصل لي confusion يعني بنسى إيه ال preposition اللي كان suitable. حتى even أنا عارفة I have to be sure again. Afraid of, fond of, proud of, similar to, happy about. Angry at, aware of, um, capable of, careless about, familiar was, familiar was, jealous of, and jealous for. What is the difference between jealous of and jealous for? Can you tell me what is the difference between jealous of and jealous for? No one knows? Jealous of? Okay, you are uh, يعني speaking about someone. No, it's not hurt. Jealous of ده يا جماعة الغيرة الغيرة العادية between people. بغير من بغير من. But jealous for بغير على someone. Okay, the baby is jealous for his mother. Okay, بغير على حد. Don't be confused. Made of married to. Sorry for, sure of, 
tired of. Verbs and prepositions. Apologize for, ask about, ask for, belong to, bring up, give up, grow up, look for, look forward to, look up, make up, pay for, don't say pay to, pay for, prepare for, study for, talk about, think about, trust and work for, and worry about. Idiomatic expressions with prepositions. When we say agree to, you are speaking about a proposal, agree to a proposal, uh, or agree uh, with a person, okay? Agree on a price in principle, argue about a matter, or argue with a person, or argue for or against a, a proposition, okay? You argue about something, argue with someone, argue for or against something, it's okay? And we have compared to, to show likeness with to show differences, sometimes similarities, okay? Correspond to a thing or with a person differ from an unlike thing or with person. Live at an address, in a house or city, on a street with other people. Okay? You live at address, live in a house or live in a city, live on a street, live with other people. Okay? Now, here we are speaking about uh, certain conditions. Now, we don't need uh, prepositions if you have, okay? In everyday speech, we fall into some bad habits using prepositions where they are not necessary. It will be a good idea to eliminate these words altogether, but we must be especially careful not to use them in formal academic prose. For example, she met up was the new coach in the hallway. We don't need up was. Why? Yani, it's useless. Yani. She meant the new coach in the hallway. Is meaning clear or not? Is the, is the meaning clear? Without this preposition? Two prepositions come in. It's clear, so we don't uh, need it. Yani. The book fell off of the desk. The book fell off of the desk. We don't need uh, we don't need this. Why you add this off? He threw the book out of the window. You can see out the window. It's okay or not? We don't use it. You don't need it. She wouldn't let the cat inside of the house. What's this? Just say inside the house. Where did they go to? No, don't say to. Where did they go only? It's okay. Put the lamp in back of the couch. Use behind instead. You can use behind. Where is your college at? No, don't say this preposition. Where is your college only? It's okay. Now, let's have practice. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you got it or not. Yeah. First one. Uh, can you see the practice or not? Can you see? Okay. okay just a minute. Please. Just a minute. <laughs> Type. Okay. My best friend lives, huh? Uh, Port's Road. In, on, at, B. B, you mean on? My, you are playing with me, my? Uh, 
طيب someone changed page نفسها طيب just many things يا معافي اوكي ها A B B A ها B at ها B ها Yes, yes, I told you, if you are speaking about street, you have to use the preposition on. Excellent. On, my, on. My, take care. We are speaking about the name of the street. I'll be ready to leave, huh, about 20 minutes. Hmm, don't worry, my. I'll be ready to leave in or uh, on at... A N you mean A C at ها A N طيب كلمة كمان يعني you can write a preposition نفسه it's okay يعني N on it ما كسلوش يعني don't be lazy in in about ها excellent the right answer in excellent bravo طيب Since he met his new girlfriend, John never seems to be home. At home, in home, on home. Number three. In, at, at, see, at, at. Asma, Saeed, Hisham. Write down at. Don't be lazy. At. Okay. Don't worry. لا أنا اللي lazy أصلاً يعني أنا بقول لكم الموضوع ده عشان I am lazy. مش عايز أبص في الأوبشن. Okay. Okay. At number three. Okay. Excellent. At okay. The child responded to his mother's demands, throwing a tantrum. Which boy from? Hmm. Which boy from? Number four. Boy, excellent. This is the right answer. Boy. I think she spent the entire afternoon, ha, huh, the phone, on the phone, in the phone, at the phone, on, 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 number five, on, excellent. Yes, this is the right answer. Yeah. Okay. I'll wait, ha, huh, six. 30, but then I'm going home. From at until. Hmm. At. What's she until? Until. Huh. I'm speaking about number six. Huh. I'll wait. Huh. Six thirty, but then I'm going home. From at until until. Excellent. This is the right answer. Thank you. Very good. The police called the thief, huh? The corner uh, of Kaski and uh, Plum Street. In at from eight. I'm speaking about number seven. Eight. Seven. Hmm. Eight. Excellent. This is the right answer. At. Okay. Number eight. My fingers. Were injured, so my sister uh, had to write the note. Ha, huh? me, for me, with me, to me. Number eight, a, eh? four, two, four, four. Hmm. Hmm. Four. Excellent. This is the right answer. Thank you very much. I'm not interested. Ha, huh? buying a new car now. Two, four, in. 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 Huh. Okay. In. For. Interested. Hmm. Nine. Interested in. Excellent. Yes. This is the right answer. In. What are uh, the main ingredients? Uh, this casserole. About to off. Off. Huh. Afifi. Say it. Hmm. Off. 
excellent off yes great efforts guys great efforts thank you my best friend uh, John is named huh his great grandfather named after to about hmm after after a eh? 11 huh yes named after very good grandpa stayed up huh to in the morning since four until yeah I want this four since until since until until hmm? number 12 huh until yes this is the right answer grandpa stayed up until two in the morning Carlos, uh, uh, Samu, why? He is speaking about just uh, this is past sample tense. It's okay, and uh, you have to use how I keep Miss Hatiba for for is mistake. Yani, غلط جدا. So you have to choose between since and for uh, and until it's okay and until is the right answer in you know, he wants to express in you know, he stayed lahad sa it means in the morning okay stayed up my parents have been married ha huh, 49 years since for until 13 hmm hmm since 4 until 4 since into yani since 4 4 shayma 4 safa 4 hmm a since Four. Hmm. Four. This is the right answer. We have certain number. Forty-nine years old. Haga muhaddada, gama. It's okay. That's what I told you about. Haga muhaddada. Yes, very good. Fourteen. He usually travels to Philadelphia in um. Sorry, train. By train. A train was train. By train. By train. Fourteen. Fourteen. Hmm? By train, excellent. خلاص مش هناخد فيها وقت. It's very easy. You frequently see this kind of violence. Hmm? Television, with television, in television, on television, in on by, on in in on. Ha, huh? on, see, on. Ahmed, write down on, on. Okay. Number fifteen. Hmm. On television. Excellent. Now on, on. The right answer. On. I told mom, uh, we have better. Uh, we have be home. Okay. Huh? In. Uh, sorry. An hour or so. Two an hour or in an hour or at an hour. Eight. In. In, I see new names here. In is uh, newcomers, I think. Anyway, Tameh, you're welcome all. Eight or in two. In, hi, Gama. Choose number sixteen. Huh? In. This is the right answer. In an hour. In an hour. I was visiting my best friend, huh? The hospital. Of the hospital, uh, eight or in eight? Hmm. In eight of in eight of 
Huh? N. This is the right answer. Yes. N. Excellent. Really? I thank you. Uh, the professor um, has South Africa made the American uh, students with her stories from of in the professor uh, from 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 um, hmm? Hmm. excellent excellent guys yes the right answer a uh, the possession from is the right answer okay I'll see you at home when I get there I see you in home by home at home Huh? At home. Excellent. Thank you very much. It has been snowing ha huh? Christmas morning. Since Christmas morning for or until twenty. Number twenty. Hmm. Since since since? Huh? Since four since four? طيب I told you four يبقى I have certain number أو يعني time محدد ليا خالص since if I um أنا حاسس إن I I forgot it لا I have to revise again مش عيب خالص إحنا يعني we are human beings وأي حد فينا بينسى يعني it's okay عفيفي I'm sorry والله this is the practice I prepared today يعني Yes, inshallah, the material, uh, thank you, Ahmed, the material will be available, inshallah, let's improve our English. Okay? Inshallah. Okay. Uh, grammar, of um, grammar can be divided into two lectures. Uh, يعني, I try to do my best to give you all the things that you do, confusion, or problems, or things. Thank you, my... Thank you very much. This is uh, our um, link. Let's improve our English. Just join us, okay? Where you will find everything you want, inshallah, material. Uh, if you have question, just post uh, uh, your question. Thank you very much. Thank you, Afifi. You're welcome all. Uh, okay. Uh, as I told you, Kedan, inshallah, they ma tafa'na ma baad. Thank you very much. Really, it's my duty, and you no need to think. It's my duty. Thank you very much. يعني um, خلاص uh, now I finished uh, the explanation um, I hope uh, the course was useful um, يعني really بجد أتمنى من ربنا أن نكون كان مفيد لكم أن نكونوا استفدتوا و I really wish you the best all the time يعني يا رب كده دايما إن شاء الله يعني um, the highest scores إن شاء الله thank you أسامة يعني يعني I ask a lot جد إنه أنتوا دايما إن شاء الله from success to success يا رب و يعني best of luck و I want to thank everyone helped me in in the course يعني ال دارين أكاديمي طبعا technical support و دعم الفني مستر محمد عبد الرحمن تعب معي جدا يعني you did your best really Thank you, thank you very much. يعني يا رب may Allah bless you all. Um, طريقة تسجيل ماي وديني all of you, Mr. Amir. Um, لا بجد I want to thank you all. I want to thank you, my students, for your time. يعني I'm asking you Allah يا رب إن كونوا أنتوا استفدتوا. I am available all the time. يعني if you have any questions, I'm ready to help you. طبعا without any hesitation. Uh, thank you very much for your nice wishes and your nice words. Um, yani, I'm speechless for Allah and Anna, I spent um, um, a nice time with you really. Um, till now, yani, arfin, anna, yani, I don't feel that I'm going to do Really, yani, anna, I tried wallahi, and I, I tried to do my best, but of course, I'm not going to do it in a way 100%. So I wish you all good luck, inshallah. Where uh, no, it's not uh, the, the last lecture. لا هي just إن أنا خلاص كده فكرة ال explanation والشرح وال curriculum خلاص خلاص. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad Abdul Rahman. Um, thank you very much. خلاص ال curriculum خلاص وكله خلاص. الحمد لله يا رب يعني 
طبعا كان في هارد تايمز عدت عليا انا شخصيا الحمد لله يعني آه وانا ام سو سوري فور كانسلنج اني لكتشر فاتت يعني فورجيف مي انا اسفه لو كنت عطلت اي حد ات واز اوت اوف ماي هاند يعني وثانك يو فيري ماتش طبعا نكست تايم ان شاء الله هتبقى بس درست ان احنا هنعمل ديسكشن طبعا اي ويل جيف يو السكورز بتاعكم عملتوا ايه في التست لازم كلكم بليز تكونوا على ليتس امبروف اور انجلش ودارين اكاديمي جروب علشان هحط ان شاء الله البوست اي ليتس اكزامز اور تست وي هاف تو انسر وسند مي ان بوكس يور انسرز اند اي ويل جيف يو ماي كوركشن ماي فيدباك اوكي وبعد كده هحدد لكم لكتشر اللي هي ان شاء الله تكون نكست موندي ات 9 كلوك لايك تو دي كده هنعمل ديسكشن في البروبلمز اللي قابلتكم في التست كله و if you have any problem just prepare your question it's okay okay so if you have anything um, يعني as I told you okay, let's improve our English على طول question و may Allah bless you all and thank you thank you for anyone helped me really um, شكرا لكم إن شاء الله um, see you next uh, week إن شاء الله on Monday 8 9 o'clock uh, wish you all the best والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته باي باي